Let's play. What's up, guys? Pokemon Mars here with episode 52 of a Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, yeah, it's been like nine days, I think, since uh, since my last episode. Um, how have you guys been? How's life? <laughs> uh, life for me is certainly crazy, um, which is what we're gonna get into in the episode today. But first, I gotta start off by saying I messed up. Um, we are watching a movie called Swing Vote in one of my classes, and that made me think that the Supreme Court case this summer is about abortion. It's not. It's about gay marriage. This episode is actually being refilmed. Um, what I did in the last episode was sort of just build this and then mine down here for some stones. So I can use some stone tools. And that was really it. That was all I, um did on the last episode just so then and I wanted to refilm it you know so I wouldn't feel like an idiot but since I told you I guess that makes me an idiot anyway I don't know but um <clears throat> so first thing that I want to uh, say is thank you to everybody who has been on Skype with me over the past you know week and a half um Liv is one of those people uh Taylor is one of those people you know the Taylor they um, my friend from Florida. <laughs> uh, sure, but doesn't mind getting mentioned. Um, and, um, a friend of mine, uh, Snowy, me and him wanted to get, I wanted to get on Skype with him, uh, at some point, but just weren't, wasn't able to in the past few days, um, because, <sighs> because something, uh, kind of happened. Um, over the last four days, I think it has been now. Um, four days ago, um, a guy named Monty Ohm, um, <coughs> he, uh, he died, um, of a severe allergic reaction to a simple medical procedure. Um, and if you don't know who, um, Monty is, um, he's someone who worked at Rooster Teeth, uh, for, I think, over five years, and, um, he's sort of the lead animator on most of their bigger projects, Red vs. Blue, um, his own show that he wanted to start called Ruby. Um, and he was a really big inspiration to everyone who worked there. Um, and you know, he was always working. He's either working or sleeping. That, that is, that, that was his life. Um, it was like, as one of the guys said, they did a little, um, a little remembrance podcast in honor of Monty. And, um, one of the things they said in that, was that was his thing was working 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 and almost ironically working anticipating this kind of day coming you know if he had been a normal person he probably would have only accomplished like half of what he's accomplished um and you know for, again for those of you who don't know what he's accomplished um he's propelled red versus blue farther than the creators probably ever saw possible it's pretty much now fully animated. Um, and then they've got their own anime series going now, Ruby. <coughs> um, red, white, black, and yellow, obviously. I think I mentioned it a while ago. I linked um, the, uh, the soundtrack that I listened to, again, in the description. Um, as well as uh, the link to that 45-minute... Um, sort of special podcast in remembrance of him. Um, after this video, you should go and watch that, because even if you didn't know who he was, even though even if you don't even know what Rooster Teeth is, I mean, I was talking to someone today who said she watched my videos but still didn't know what it was that I was talking about. So you can go watch that podcast. Um... You know, it's not all depressing either. Most of it is sort of positive memories about how Monty really um, 
not only influenced their life, but sort of influenced how Rooster Teeth did things. Um, and his, Monty's motto, this is the final thing I'll say, um, was always, keep moving forward. So, with that, we'll move forward. Uh, one of the other things that has sort of happened over the last week or so is, um, hmm, well, we did watch Swing Vote, which if you don't know what that is, we watched it in uh, my contemporary law justice class. And it's basically a movie that was not released in the U.S. that details the Supreme Court deciding on an abortion case. And um, basically how they ruled was they gave the mothers four and a half months to terminate the pregnancy. I assume that everyone watching this video is mature enough to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, if you're not, um, just gotta plug your ears. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably put up an annotation or something um, for people who are legitimately too young to hear this. Obviously, if you're a kid, you're gonna want to hear this because I say it's too much for you. I was a kid too. <laughs> Did I say that? No, I, I, I usually let my parents sort of censor the stuff because I respect them a lot like that. Um, probably why they trust me so much now, you know. But back to that, they gave four and a half months, um, and then the state was free to regulate the other four and a half months, whether they wanted to ban it, whether they wanted to have sort certain uh, rules for it. They, you know, they had to get counseling, they had to get a written declaration, and all of this, and this was all up to the states to basically decide. This that was just some suggestions, um, but it was it was basically striking a balance between two rights, basically the right freedom of choice, and then um, the right to life, essentially, pro life, pro choice, all that stuff, which I only learned what that meant about a week or so ago. I had sort of ignored the entire abortion debate. Um, because it wasn't my decision. I'm not a woman. By that logic, I have no right to speak in this case. That's just sort of how I viewed it. Um, but the biggest issue I think that abortion is... Um, what was that? What am I trying to say? Um, the biggest issue that comes with defining abortion being legal or illegal is that it happens in so many different ways. One of the ways is forcefully, another way is using it as birth control, and it's just, it's really tough to make a call on that. And I sort of, I definitely respect the fact that it's very difficult. Um, because the Supreme Court, she's like, holy crud, I don't know how they're gonna do this. Um, like, when that finally does come to the Supreme Court, because I feel like it will, eventually um, because it's becoming such a controversial issue and such a talked about um, issue on one hand you've got the potential regulation of a woman's reproductive system on the other hand you've got the potential that you could be killing future people so it's a really tough sort of um, decision to try and make and I definitely don't want to be the person making that decision another person I don't want to be the to be making a decision on is uh, gay marriage. That is what's happening this summer. That court case will go down this summer. And probably the whole country will be watching. Um, I might not be. You know, I might be busy. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I've always sort of been indifferent. I've always been sort of just like, okay, as long as it doesn't invade my personal life. Um, which it has. Um, the increase in the gay population, whether female or male, it um, it definitely affects how the straight part of the opposite sex communicates and who they communicate with. For instance, um, females will gravitate towards the gay men, and I assume vice versa. Um, and that's sort of an issue when you're a straight guy, so it, it just sort of kills... Um, but your chances, you know, if you, if you get what I'm saying, hopefully, 
Um, I know that someone's going to be down there raging in the comments like, You said that gay marriage is bad. No, I actually didn't. Um, if you would listen to what I say. Um, which is sort of a big problem people have on the internet. <laughs> Listening to what someone actually says. That seems to be a massive issue. <clears throat> but anyway, we, anyway blah, blah, blah. we've got a little house here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and light this area up down here the torch and then we're gonna build the roof on this bad boy um, I'm trying to think if four blocks is tall enough I assume it is so we can just kinda go ahead and start why am I using birch wood I'm trying to keep it varied um, I'm trying not to use up all the same kind of wood if that uh, if that makes any sense so yeah that whole summertime thing will happen uh, definitely looking forward to that being uh, fully decided really um, be nice to sort of see a unified country but at the same time um, a lot of states have already not a lot of states a few states have completely legalized it. I think in Mexico it was legalized years ago. That was off the random topic of AP CompGov today, a class that I've mentioned a bunch before. Speaking of AP CompGov, um, I did want to show, sort of show you guys something from it. So we're going to pause a little gameplay here, and I'm going to drag this thing over. A little annotation will pop up. Um, if you guys want to skip this part of the video, you guys can. So just click that little annotation. Probably it's probably going to be. Where am I going to put it? Let's put it to the right, left, right hand side. So it's probably going to be the right hand side. So what this is, is it is a public policy essay, as it were. And it is. I'll just read it. Uh, this essay is a chance for students to explore a public policy topic touched on or neglected in class. This topic should be as narrow as possible in order to give depth, greater depth and clarity. Students will do research from scholarly sources and cite them using Chicago style. The essay should be about five to seven pages. The essay is due March 23rd, 24th, antibiography, bibliography, yada, 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 yada. Overview. Essay is divided into five sections. Background, introduction, uh, details is the specifics of the policy. Effects is what happens as a result of the policy. Comparison is comparing results of policy Institute of other countries and application is the conclusion. Bring ideas together and make analysis of the policy. So, topics. This is fun. Uh, we study six countries in this course. Uh, the United Kingdom, Russia, China, Mexico, Nigeria, and Iran. I apologize. United Kingdom, Russia, China, Mexico, Nigeria, and Iran. Apologize again. For the UK, uh, the United Kingdom, um, the topics are uh, devolution to local governments, alternate voting systems, gay marriage, fox hunting ban, immigration slash immigration, maternity leave, pension, renegotiating with the EU, green technology, regulation of the tabloids, reforming quangos, austerity, and Scottish independence. I was trying to think earlier, when did the Scots de want to declare independence? How many months ago was that now? Three, at least, maybe. Think about it. Russia. Gay rights, alcoholism, anti-NGO law, I'm assuming NGO is non-governmental organizations. Foreign adoption, reliance on natural resources, protest registration. Yeah, you have to be registered to protest in Russia. Abortion, there you go. Declining population, flat tax policy, rights of the accused, relationship with neighboring countries, Orthodox Church, and Sochi Olympics, which is the Olympics in Russia. What I love... This is an issue. I love the fact that that's an issue. Why? Because they are directly south of the most populated country on the face of the earth. Directly south. They are directly north of the most populated country in the entire world. Gotta love people. Okay, for China we got sex trafficking. That's a fun freaking topic, not really. Uh, forced abortions. There you go. Corruption at the top versus bottom, death penalty, currency, value slash manipulation, environmental regulations, internet great firewall, migration, care of the elderly, infrastructure projects, which are dams, trains, um, house churches, microblogging, 
mass line, Hong Kong and Taiwan. Hong Kong and Taiwan being autonomous regions that China still wants to dominate. Okay. Uh, for Mexico, we got combating obesity, which is the country we're on now. Uh, combating obesity, um, Amer Indian rights, which is a um, local ethnic group. Local ethnic group? Yeah, it's an ethnic group inside of Mexico. Uh, military and federal police and drug fighting. Um, immigration slash emigration. Role of the Catholic Church. Food subsidies. Media monopolies. No re-election. NAFTA reporting crime. And Pemex. Pemex being the gas giant of Mexico. Russia has a similar situation. So now, we come over to Nigeria. This interests the countries we've not studied yet. Nigeria is obviously in Africa. Water contamination. Anti-corruption. Fuel subsidies. Sharia law in the north, I'll come back to that in a second. HIV slash AIDS, microcredit, ethnic rotation, use of military against Boko Haram, structural adjustment from the World Bank, child and maternal health, relationship with ECOWAS, which is a multinational organization, I believe. Finally, we have Iran with drug abuse, criminal punishments, Sharia law, religious foundations, voting age, marriage slash divorce law, nuclear power, sex education and family planning, crackdown on the green movement, education for women, minority religions, role of the Kurds. So getting back to Minecraft here, um, again that was the uh, public policy essay. Getting back to Minecraft, why was Sharia law so important to me? I have to be Jewish. So it's definitely going to affect me, whatever Iran or Nigeria does. Also, I talked with someone over the summer um, about this kind of stuff, and um, I imagine he would be very interested in helping me uh, write this. So that's another reason why I'm sort of doing this in order to keep sort of the the uh, met the uh, the um, not really wall of communication, but like river of communication flowing or something like that, keeping communication open essentially. Because uh, he was a really really um, smart, intelligent guy. Um, definitely respect him a lot. I was definitely nervous first meeting him because I didn't want to make a bad impression. But I was fine. Like, we, we, we probably could have talked all day long. Right at the beginning, he basically reserves 20 minutes for it. We sit there for about an hour. Um, he definitely did not think we'd be talking for that long. So that's good. I take that as a good thing. But, um... Moving on to how my regular days are now. Um, what did we do that was interesting today? I don't know. Some stuff I can't say because I don't want to get certain people in trouble. I don't know. How was your day? How was your week so far? Um, some people I know have been having really tough weeks. Some people I know have been really having really easy weeks, so it just kind of goes back and forth. Um, I do want to mention one thing. I'm making this massive, huge music list, and I'm realizing how much the internet has played a role in my life. Um, that was me trying to take a drink of water. Give me a second. And then that was me doing it successfully. Yay! Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to head back to the base over here and we're going to get more birch wood to finish the roof. Um, so this is episode 52. So wow, we've come a long way. Um, I'm still trying to get on a regular schedule, guys. I'm sorry that it's not working. We're going to fix this real quick. I'm sorry that it's not working out um, so far. I'm really, really trying. Uh, but this weekend's going to be hectic. And the next weekend is a long weekend, so maybe I'll get more time then. I don't know. My brother's been going crazy on the Xbox, so I get that back eventually, whenever I want to take it out. And put it back into my room. And then more Xbox content will be coming. I know none's come yet. I just fell. Um, the thing is also, is like, I do have a few like Xbox ideas in the works, but I haven't really released any yet. So we're about out of time here um, on episode uh, 52. Got about 20 seconds left. I try to keep these episodes to 20 minutes. I'll finish this bridge. And when we come back, we will be finishing that house. Have a great day, night, weekend, week, month, uh, year, 
decade, century, uh, millennia, eon, alien, eon era, aliens of the future, and all that jazz. Let's stop.